If you ask me whether I was a shoe or a handbag girl, I definitely say shoes. However, I do have a rather healthy handbag collection and I thought it would be fun to kind of talk through the handbag essentials that I think every woman should have in their closet. I'm going to just dive into it with the first handbag, which is just a really classic tote. If I had to narrow it down to my favorite, Ultimately, I would say my Kuyana leather tote bag. This is the unstructured version, which does have the ties in it, so you can wear it two different ways. I have done a review comparing this to my Linear tote and also my Everlane Market Day tote, which I'm going to link up here if you'd like to go and have a watch of that. But this is just a really good one because it works both for the office, but then it can also work for the weekend as well. And this has just been a really great travel bag for me. It's kind of one of those everything in the kitchen sink kind of bags. Uh, I do need to get a little organizer for it. Actually, they do sell one on the Kiana website, which I'm going to link down below as well. But it's very well made. I've had mine for over a year. And honestly, it's not showing any signs of wear. And it's probably been one of my most worn handbags in my closet. My second handbag essential is kind of an either or. It's a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag because it's ultimately going to come down to personal preference. So I thought I'd show you the two different styles here. This one is my shoulder bag. This is a vintage Fendi bag and I love the fact that it's really soft has the leather strap which you could actually probably change out for a longer strap if you really wanted but this just fits really nicely underneath my shoulder it's very close to my body and I feel like it's going to keep all my belongings really safe and secure I also like a crossbody bag for the same reason because you can sling it across your body and you've got it in front of you so it's kind of I guess secure from any potential pickpockets or theft I know it's not something I really need to worry about in Sydney but I am mindful of it especially when I'm traveling so I do have a few um, this one here is from Kuyana and it's just the mock croc leather embossed half moon bag the other one that I thought I would mention is this one here from Charles and Keith so this one's made from a vegan leather and it's in a tan color obviously go for whatever color you like I tend to favor black just because it goes with absolutely everything but something that is a reasonable size that isn't going to look too bulky against your frame and that will look great both crossbody and worn on your shoulder uh, is a really good option. I like these ones because they are relatively compact but they fit all of my essentials in them. Now this next one is probably not really a must but if you do really love handbags and you love having variety and also styles that can be worn different ways then you might also like to have this one in your collection which is a really nice little top handle bag. This one here is from Linnea. I will link some other options down in the description box below and it's a really good affordable alternative to the Louis Vuitton Armour BB bag. I like the fact that you can also wear it crossbody as well but personally I like to wear it as a top handle just because I feel like it looks really ladylike and it really helps to elevate a lot of my outfits. Then we have a really practical option, which is great if you were going hiking or you're doing something that's a little bit more adventurous or if you just prefer this style, and that is a backpack. There are plenty of fashion backpacks out there, but the one that I have is definitely more on the functional end of the spectrum. It is my Fjall Raven Kankin backpack. This is the re -Kankin that's been made out of the recycled materials. I like the fact that this is super duper lightweight, packs down really, really nicely. Mine does have the nylon straps as well, so there's no padding on here, which isn't great if you're doing a lot of hiking and your bag is really heavy so I just want to mention that if you are planning on getting this for that purpose but it is a really good size it fits a lot in here um, when we went to New Zealand I was able to fit my DSLR camera with two lenses uh, two water bottles food um, my I have my drone in here I could fit a lot it's kind of one of those magic bags and I like the fact that this one in particular does open the whole way around I will leave some links to some more kind of fashion options I know the Louis Vuitton Palm Springs backpack really had a moment but there are so many other ones if you want something that's a little bit more fashion-y but I will also leave some more functional ones like this that also look really chic as well and would be great for day to day my husband and I are definitely more homebodies we don't tend to go out too often when we do it's usually just for a really nice meal the two of us or for catching up with friends but I do think a really nice little clutch bag or something that's more evening appropriate is a must in any wardrobe it's also really perfect if a special occasion comes up like a wedding because then you've already got your bag sorted you don't need to go out and get something new the ones that I have are just super simple they are little leather pouches I've got two here I've actually got another one that was a gift from my brother and sister this one here is from Evelyn it's a really nice green leather so it's pretty carefree and this is the kind of thing you can take with you when you're traveling too it packs down but you can also stuff it with things so you could use this as a makeup up bag but then also take it with you for a special event the other one I've got is from the daily edited and what I like about these is that you can actually get them personalized so mine's got my initials on it and this was actually a gift when I met with uh, Elise who's one of the founders when I was in Dallas so um, this one's great actually because it does have little card pockets on the inside too and these make really good gifts if you're ever kind of stuck because they're so durable so I don't know if you can hear that it, but it's the Safiano leather so 
Uh, these are great because you can spill on them and nothing will happen. As a seasonal option, I think a really good straw bag is a must during the summer months, especially if you're going to the beach a lot. We don't live particularly close to the beach, but we do like going down there whenever we can. And I usually will take something like this with me so that I can put my towel, uh, my headphones, you know, a good book, sunscreen, water bottle, all that in there. And this is a really good size. This one is from Sportscraft and unfortunately it's a few years old now. So I don't think they sell this one, but I will try and find some alternatives. I think if you want something that's less of an actual beach bag and more of a fashion bag, there are so many great options out there. I know Eula Johnson did some really gorgeous ones, even little beaded bags as well. I'm going to link some down in the description box. For more of a classic style, I think you'd go with a natural straw bag. I personally prefer the black just because I think it's a little bit more unexpected and also unassuming. But this one here, I bought this off Shopbox and I'm not sure the name of the brand. It says in here, Buji Baja or Buhi Baja, but I don't actually believe that's what the brand was called on Shopbox. So I think it might be Caillou, but I will leave uh, this one or similar down in the description box but again this is just a really good option it's a really big one so a great kind of a market tote as well if you wanted to go and do some shopping or some groceries at the markets you could just throw them all in here the final bag that I wanted to mention was something with a pop of color it's probably pretty obvious that I tend to go for more classic colors and classic silhouettes as well but I think having something that is a bit more vibrant and maybe even has some really interesting design details is a great little bag to have in your closet because it can really amp up your outfits accessories are everything and I feel like they really can make or break your look uh, so I've got a couple that I thought I'd show you this one here is from Charles and Keith and it's a really beautiful burnt uh, brown or terracotta hue and I love this little wavy strap it's so different I've never seen any bag with a detail quite like that on it and I love the fact that it has this um, I guess pinched effect in the center it reminds me a little bit of the Fendi peekaboo but without the Fendi price tag and this one is also in a vegan leather and then the other one that I have is from LM and this one is a little baguette style and it's in a beautiful forest green this is a bag that I enjoy wearing during the colder months especially just because I find that this really rich dark hue works really well with my winter closet so that is a roundup of all of the handbag essentials that I think every woman should own. If there's anything that you think that I missed, let me know down in the comment section below. Obviously, this is just a little bit of a guide. And if you only want to have one bag in your wardrobe, then that's really all that you need. But yeah, as I mentioned, I will link all of the items that I featured along with some other alternatives down in the description box below. Just click show more to find out all those details. If you're new here and you want to see more videos like this from me, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.